Have you ever played in a tournament before? You have to play four hands in about 55 minutes. That is about a 12 minute game. This exercise that I'm going to share with you is a great way to force yourself to make quicker decisions. And also if you play in tournaments, this is a great exercise to kind of take the pressure off of playing with a timer. I call these Charleston sprints. I have all my tiles out and they've been mixed and I have my smartphone here. I'm going to set it up with a stopwatch. We're going to do five laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up and then we'll take an average. I'm going to say that we are the dealer so I'm going to take 14 random tiles. and I'm going to set up a mock Charleston. This is not exactly what you would get in a real game, but it is a simulation that will help you practice with quick decision making. So I wanna make sure that there's no jokers in here. So I'm just gonna quickly take a peek and we'll get rid of any jokers. Okay, there's no jokers in there. I'll just mix it up again. Try to keep it as spontaneous as possible. Okay, so let's see if we can get this timer going again. Alrighty, what is going on with my phone? All right, here we go. Sprint one. We don't have any multiples. We do have a couple of jokers though. So I'm thinking, I see a lot of six, eight. We have no twos though. Four, five, six, three, six, three, four, five, six, three, four, five, six. But we're left with like numbers. Let's go ahead and pass a dragon in there. These three. Three, four, five, six, consecutive. Here's a six, so that's our first multiple. I like to build around multiples. There is a three, six, nine showing up in here. Three, six, nine. Let's pass. We still have a potential two, four, six, eight. Let's pass these three. Oops. Oh my goodness. Get in there. Okay, so now there's a four, five, four, four, six, we don't have any twos, so I don't think two, four, six, eight is a good one to play here. Let's pass that, this, let's pass one of each suit. Okay, here's seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, here's a one, four, six, let's pass these three. Flower. East two, finally, there's a two, huh? <laughs> two, four, six, eight, maybe. Let's get rid of the three. Okay, there's an eight, oh, here's a seven. Six, seven, eight, nine. Boy, if we get a, if we get a uh, five crack, that would be really great. Nope, let's pass these three. Okay, lap. I went over, I think for uh, as far as guidelines, if you can get under two minutes, if you're an advanced player, I think that would be a really great uh, guideline. If you're a beginner, I'd say under four minutes. And if you're intermediate, under three minutes. But I think for this particular sprint, it wasn't too bad. I'm seeing here six, seven, eight, can something consecutive for sure with the six, seven. If we get a red dragon, we could even play the six, seven with dragons. This would be the fourth hand down, fifth hand down under consecutive run. If we get a five crack, we could play the first hand, five through nine in one suit. 
And let's see, we could even maybe play Lucky 13 here with this one. We'd need a couple more flowers, of course. So I'd say that we have probably between, we probably have about five discards. So I think it could have been better. But there's a few options, either Lucky 13 or something consecutive. Let's set up for Sprint 2 and see if we can make up some time. Okay, here we go. So we're going to do sprint two. There's no jokers in here. That's why I was looking through there. You don't want to be wasting time looking for jokers. So here we go with sprint two. Oh my gosh, we got a pong. Here's a three, four red. Maybe three, four, maybe a quint. We have no jokers though. Uh, for if we had any nines, we could maybe play Lucky 13. Okay, so let's. Oh my gosh, okay. I lost my timer here. That's going to be a problem. Okay, let's pass these three. So we've got a two and a six two there's kind of a two four six eight showing up there let's keep the red and pass these three don't want that going to sleep on me here's a two six again it'd be nice if we could get an eight crack there's a one one two three six gosh that's not working out so good one two three four six Let's pass these three. Three, four, white. Three, four, white. Okay, we've got two, three, four, two, four, six. Ugh. Let's break this up. I don't want to pass a white dragon. It's very valuable passing a white dragon. Not good. Here's a two. Gosh, if we had an eight crack, that would be so nice. Let's give up the three. There's a flower. Okay, let's pass two, four, six. Let's pass one blind. So we get two. Lap. All right, so we have three discards. We have, um, I'm thinking this would be the 2468 hand, last one on under the 2468 category. All we need are eight cracks here, and we can use jokers. We've got a pair of flowers, pung a two, pung a four. Here's sixes, all we need is an eight. That's a big gap though. The only nice thing about this is we can use jokers and typically you can count on drawing a couple. Hopefully we would draw maybe that eight crack, but um, in this particular case, we ended up with three discards, which is not bad actually. Okay, we're gonna do this one more time. Okay, no jokers in there. Here we go. Lap it. Oh, look at those jokers. Nice. Maybe we can play a quint. Oh, look at that. A pung. Let's force a quint here. Let's pass these three right here. 
No, let's break that up a little bit. Let's pass these three. Oh, there's a green. Let's pass these three. We're going for a quint. I'd pass a white dragon if I'm going for a quint. We can pass those. That's not a problem. West, we're going to keep that for an option. We can't. Look, we have tiles to pass. We have to pick one. Doesn't really matter. We can pass all those. I don't want to pass a flower, but we kind of have to. Same thing. We're going for a quint. Okay, we have three tiles to pass. I don't like passing flowers normally, but we're playing a quint here. So we have three discards. And we can use this for that quint. And we could use this for this quint. All we need is a green dragon and we would be set for a quint. That would be awesome. Too bad we couldn't pair up that wind though. That would have been really helpful. Let's see how we did with the timing there. Okay. We went over for the first two sprints, but the last one was pretty quick considering all those jokers. So we had one minute, 16 seconds for sprint three. We were over on sprint two by 16 seconds and over by 23 seconds for sprint one. So I made it by five seconds. Five seconds. Those first two sprints were a bit challenging. So I think again, the guidelines that I'd shoot for would be as an advanced player, under two minutes, intermediate, under three minutes, and beginner under four minutes. And then if you want to improve yourself, if you're in those other sort of categories, push yourself into the other thresholds. So if you're a beginner, shoot for under three minutes. If you're intermediate, shoot for under two. And that'll be a really great way to push yourself to make quicker decisions. And if you can make decisions in under two minutes and be comfortable at that level, then when you play in a tournament, you probably won't be affected at all by that timer. And if you were to go over on that uh, time frame, you know, four games in 12 minutes, you can sit pretty comfortably knowing that it wasn't your fault. Practice. Practice making quicker decisions and quick decisions with confidence. Give it a try if you have a set at home and let me know what you think. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing and click the bell when you do so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any opportunities to learn some new strategies or pick up on an insight into the game that might give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston Sprints for American Style, may all your picks be keepers.